what i am talking about is uh, models for collaborative design and manufacturing this models for collaborative design and manufacturing if you look at any typical automobile company uh, not only typical automobile company you look at a steel manufacturing company look at a cement manufacturing company look at a health care company look at health care supply chains look at daily supply chains look at small medium enterprises look at micro small medium enterprises right if you look at all this set up you know the industries the kind of you know, the manufacturing units right all these units are you know in general working in a more collaborative manner right so let us say for example look at a case of automobile company right a typical automobile company you know manufactures a car right to get manufacture a car this particular company requires variety of components to get it assembled right so to get it assembled they this particular x company x automobile company has to procure all the components from different different you know, the, you know suppliers right so how they are trying to procure it is a question how come it is possible you know to see the continuous supply of this component to this particular x you know automobile company right so this all can happen only with the help of you know the collaborative design and the manufacturing you know uh, practice right what is this collaborative design and manufacturing you know, practice right this collaborative design typically talks about uh, collaboration you know uh, across all the partners who is going to you know uh, have a kind of you know the end to end you know the solutions right because let us say for example uh, take a car a company like you know maruti suzuki maruti suzuki is manufacturing variety of cars right almost close to you know 17 to 18 variations in the same you know product class right so how how this particular maruti suzuki company is trying to get variety of components it's you know uh, a model requirements right so they are having a kind of collaboration with their suppliers right whatever this maruti suzuki is you know following a kind of you know, the quality standard has to be followed by its suppliers that is what exactly you know, the expected from the suppliers right so what is happening whatever you know the requirements of this particular maruti suzuki company is looking for the same has to be you know manufactured to support this company by the suppliers let let's say maybe it's the tire man suppliers or the tire two suppliers or the tire three suppliers right so as for the measurements as for the specifications what is being mentioned by this particular company maruti suzuki most of the suppliers has to you know supply it all happens only through this collaborative practices it all only you know happens through this you know collaborative collaborative design right now let us see how it is going to happen in real time right how it is going to happen in real time now the to see all these things the perfect model what actually you know uh, in the marketplace is known as you know the cpfr collaborative planning forecasting and replenishment i am sure you are all with me right hello yes sir right okay now coming to this collaborative planning forecasting and replenishment right so this cpfr is the acronym what normally we you know use it cpfr is stands stands for collaborative planning forecasting and replenishment cprsm is a you know uh, acronym for collaborative planning forecasting and replenishment right so this is a practice developed to reduce the supply chain costs through collaboration among what may be many partners in a single supply chain because uh, if you look at you know a typical you know the dairy supply chain how a typical dairy supply chain is trying to procure the milk right from the villages from the farmers and through various stages and reaching to the plant and you know 
going through variety of other processes and finally uh, finally you know we are getting the milk we in the sense the end users are getting the milk right look at a case of healthcare supply chain how healthcare supply chains are trying to manage the inventory how they are trying to manage you know shipment of you know products to you know variety of consumers in the marketplace right look at a case of a typical steel manufacturing company how a steel manufacturing company trying to you know procure the raw material from variety of sources right so and then after procuring from variety of sources how it is you know processing it and then how it is trying to you know shift into the market place if you look at the scenario all this talks about a supply chain end to end supply chain right so this particular because managing this end to end supply chain is a you know tedious task unless we integrate all the stakeholders in the supply chain it is not possible to see the continuous flow of operations right continuous you know flow of communication 